So the next piece of glassware that we need is this distillation head condenser combination. This is called a one piece distillation column. So the way this sits on the round bottom flask is you, the shorter column goes on top of the round bottom flask in this fashion. And let us see what are all the things we have on this column here. There is an opening here. So we want to make sure that we stopper that opening. So when you heat the liquid, the liquid vapors do not escape through there. So then what happens when you heat the liquid? The liquid vapors go through this portion of the column. If you notice, there are indentations inside this part of this distillation head. This type of a column where there are glass indentations inside is called a V-groove column. What that does is effectively do a multiple number of simple distillations as I explained to you in the lecture or it enables us to do fractional distillation by providing a temperature gradient from here to the top. It is warmer here, it will be cooler on top. So only the lower boiling vapor will get out first. Anyway, so what else should we do to this column? Remember you are doing distillation. You need a thermometer to read the temperature of the liquid that is boiling. The thermometer that we use for distillation purposes is a special thermometer. It's regular as far as you can see up to here. But however, you notice that there is a glass joint on this thermometer. Why is there a glass joint? Because when I place the thermometer in this fashion on the column, it sits in tight so no vapors escape through the column. So we have the flask, we have the distillation set up here, I have put a stopper and the thermometer. Okay, when we heat it, the liquid vaporizes vapors go through this v group column and then they start to go through the condenser portion. This is where the vapors will condense back into the liquid form. What do I need to make these vapors condense back to the liquid form? We have some way of cooling the vapors in this condenser portion. How do we cool it? by circulating cold water through the condenser portion. There is a tube inside, that is this tube, which is enclosed by a glass jacket. And in that chamber, we will be able to circulate water if we connect the in water here and a tube to let the water go out. Let me show you how to make the water connection. However, I explained to you where all the things go, but when you want to make the connections to water, you do not want the thermometer sitting in here because by chance, if you bend this setup, the thermometer may fall. So let us take the stopper and the thermometer out. Leave it aside for a second. Then you take this condenser setup also out and then make the water connection. Where is the cold water faucet in this hood? It is right at the back. You notice that there is a Tigon tubing attached already. Now, this is the in water. In should be at the bottom. So, connect it. Just push it in firmly. If you have to wiggle it slightly, you could. But make sure that the tube has nicely gone over this aperture. So we have made the in connection. Now I want a tube to let the water run out into the sink. So take another Tigon tubing, attach that piece of Tigon tubing 
to the other outlet and now we can place this on top of a round bottom flask. Make sure that this out tube is sitting in the cup sink. Why? Because when the water drains out, we want the water to be draining into the sink and not onto the hood surface here. Now the water is connected. I want to make sure that the water flows smoothly through this condenser portion. What I want to do is hold this tube slightly with your hand so that it will not pop out due to water pressure and then turn the cold water faucet on which is located here. The first one that says CW for cold water is the knob that you want to use for cold water. Hold it and turn it on slightly. You notice that the water is raising through the Tygon tube and now it is going through the condenser. And you, you hear that it is draining in the cup sink. How much should we open this cold water faucet? You want a smooth flow of water. Just raise the out tube and see how well the water is flowing. If it is flowing in this fashion, this is good for us. Okay, so we have the distillation head set up. The cold water is uh, running through the condenser. I can place the thermometer. I can place the stopper after taking my liquid in the round bottom flask. See, the clamp was not very tight. So you want to make sure that it is attached tightly. And also, once the jack is raised, It sits in better fashion. Okay, we also need to get some glassware to collect the distilling liquid that comes out of it. Alright, so let us go over this once more. Ring stand, jack, magnetic stirrer, the heating mantle, round bottom flask in which you will take your sample to be distilled. We have the distillation head, the condenser is connected to water, water is running, now we can get our sample and start the distillation.